Hey YouTube, Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. This video is specifically for those who are feeling the negative impacts of isolation as it relates to us practicing social distancing. I just want to tell you guys that you are not alone and God put it on my heart to specifically pray for you guys in this season because I don't want you to give up and I know some of you have been working on your mental health, you've been working on your self care and this current situation has put a burden on your progress. And I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to see this as a setback. I want you to be innovative and in finding different ways to connect and to cope during this season. And one of my favorite ways to cope when things are difficult is to pray. And you know that I've made a habit of praying for you guys in this year. So I want to pray specifically for you. If you're feeling alone, if you're feeling left out, if you're feeling disconnected in any kind of way, and you're trying to find a lifeline, you're trying to find someone to connect with and some hope and some meaning to all of this, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your peace. I want to pray for your mental health. I want to pray for your emotional health, your spiritual health. I want you to be healthy and I want you to thrive even in this season. And the only way that you can do that is if you connect with the Father who loves you so much and who cares about you. And He wants you to cast your cares upon Him and He wants you to connect with Him. And in your effort to connect with the Father, He will then provide ways and avenues for you to connect with other people so that you are strengthened even during this time. So let me pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I want to pray, oh God, for those who are at home who don't have family and friends that they can be with each and every day, but are in complete isolation and solitude. Heavenly Father, I know that this is a difficult season even for those who are completely healthy and who are thriving. This is a difficult season, especially for those who have been putting in the work, oh God, to work through what they're going through and to heal and to overcome and to work on their mental health and to work on their spiritual health and their emotional health, Heavenly Father. So this current season, Lord Jesus, you know that it is putting a strain on those who need that connection, oh God, because you know, Lord, that we are all created for connection. You created us to be able to connect with one another, to love one another, to commune with one another. So this season, oh God, is difficult for those people, oh God, who don't know how to be alone, who don't want to be alone and who thrive, oh God, in healthy environments with other people, oh God. Heavenly Father, show us different ways to be social, oh God, even if we can't be physically present with one another. Heavenly Father, help, oh God, to restore their hope and their joy and their peace during this time, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I pray, oh God, that you will allow them to see and to feel that they are not alone, oh God, but that they have hope, oh God, and they have joy, oh God, and they have life, oh God, in you, Heavenly Father. I I pray that you will breathe into them your energy. I pray that you will breathe into them your love. I pray that you, oh God, will fill them up with your light, oh God, that they will feel your joy, that they will feel your peace, oh God, and that they will feel connected in a supernatural way, Heavenly Father, that you, oh God, will not let this be a step back of their progress, oh God, but that you, oh Lord, will allow this to be a continuation, oh God, that they will see the fruits of the work that they have put into their health and their well-being, Heavenly Father, that you, oh Lord, will not not allow the enemy to wreak havoc on their minds, O oh Heavenly Father, during this season, O oh God, but that they will be strong enough to shut out the lies and the trickery of the enemy, that they will not succumb to their fears, that they will not succumb to their anxieties, that they, O oh God, will not allow this current situation to hold them back and to thwart their progress, O oh God, but that they will continue to push, O oh Lord, that they will continue to push in this season, O oh God, that whatever they are standing in need of, O oh God, whether it's finances, whether it's emotional connection, whether it's spiritual connection, oh God, that you will show up in a mighty way, oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will visit us divinely today, oh God, and show up for us, oh God, and that you, oh God, will surround us with your love, oh God, and your caring arms, oh God, that we will know that we can trust you, oh God, and that we can cast our cares upon you, oh God, because you care for us and you love us so tremendously, Heavenly Father. So I cover today, oh God, those who are experiencing loneliness, oh Lord, and extreme isolation, oh God, and I pray, oh Lord, that you, oh 
oh God, will show up for them, oh God. Send helpers, oh God, to connect with them, to reach out to them, oh God, and to help them continue to build, oh God, so that they, oh God, can get healthier, that they can get stronger, that they, oh Lord, will win the battlefield of the mind, oh God, and that they, oh God, will look up to the hills from whence cometh their help, oh God, because our help, oh Lord, comes from you, Heavenly Father, and you have the ability to strengthen us, oh God, and to restore us, oh God, and to give us your matchless peace, oh God, that surpasses all understanding. We love you, oh God, and we place our trust in you, oh God, because you have never lost the battle, and we trust in your track record, oh God, and we know, oh Lord, that we are never alone because you are with us wherever we are, wherever we go, in whatever state we find ourselves in. We are never alone because you are there right with us, oh God, loving us through it, oh God, helping us through it, oh God, and giving us healthy coping mechanisms, oh God. So we thank you. We love you. We give you all glory, honor, and praise, oh God. And we ask, oh God, that you will be with us, oh Lord, and help us through this difficult time. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I hope this prayer blessed you and I hope that it encourages you to reach out. Even if it's to me, you can email me. I'll put my email below. You can comment below. You can connect with me on Instagram, on Facebook. In whatever avenue you feel that you want to connect and reach out, please do so because I don't want anyone to feel left behind. I don't want anyone to feel forgotten and I definitely don't want anyone to feel alone during this time. I love you. God loves you. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. Love you.